Are you asking what these songs are about? Well, that's up to you. If, if... A lot of them aren't really about anything. You know, they're sort of like impressionistic, right? So uh, the idea was that the listener is supposed to get a bunch of sort of scattershot impressions. Some of them are narrative later on, but uh, the idea is the listener is supposed to get a, a bunch of impressions and there's supposed to be a bunch of key lines in there that pique people's interest because that was always my favorite thing about my favorite bands. I never knew all the words to any of the songs, but there are always, always a couple lines that I remembered that were evocative to me. And that's what this, the song like that is about. You know, it's about, you know, man, you know, what's going through the mind of a 21 year old dude who does nothing but play music. <laughs> Couldn't You Wait is, I mean, and, and I'm sure a lot of people will think this as well, is the hit song that they never had. It's kind of inexplicable to me that a song like Couldn't You Wait was not a hit. The line, all, all the straight girls are insane. And couldn't you wait? Brilliant. Brilliant. Oh, yeah, couldn't you wait? That's the classic hit of all time. After Slipstream, that was, well, Into, in, Into the Woods was also a, a hit for us. By hit, I mean a song that was consistently requested vociferously by the audience. So probably Slipstream was first, uh, Into the Woods was, was another one. Uh, and now you're talking about Couldn't You Wait, which is, you know, probably the for us, you know, one of the bigger ones. That song is one that just like, I was walking up the hill to the grocery store and it's at walking tempo, you know, like that. And uh, it just like came in and, and the whole, the riff came, the da -da 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 -da. that and the drum beat came. And then I got, I had to sing it to myself the whole time I was in the grocery store over and over and over again. So I wouldn't forget it. And I got home and I picked it out on guitar and it wasn't something that I would normally play on the guitar because it has like a little weird interval that I would never do because it's slightly difficult, you know? And, um, but I figured it out, added the bass line, wrote the words and then it was finished. So it took like, you know, 10 minutes. That song, Slow Hands, you know, that I got down in the subway with my oldest friend, Jean-Luc. Like who in the fuck writes songs about an imaginary friend named Jean-Luc. Jean-Luc, Jean-Luc Neptune was my, I, I, when I went to college in New York City, I had this roommate named Jean-Luc Neptune. He's a cool guy, we got along. But that name, you know, it's kind of a musical name, Jean-Luc. How many people do you know named Jean-Luc besides the guy in Star Trek? Especially Jean-Luc Neptune. I think he was of Haitian extraction. And uh, I didn't know this, but a lot of Haitians have cool names like that. Uh, in terms of Jean-Luc Neptune's resemblance to the Jean-Luc of the song, non-existent. <laughs>